So this is how you update Jupyter. First log into your WordPress website. There we go. Now we're gonna go to pages. So we'll select all pages. And let's just pick a page. Let's pick about us. So you wanna click on edit. And here we are. Now what you want to see in Jupyter is classic mode up here, okay? If I click on this, then you're going to see backend editor. So we actually want to be at the backend editor. You can see all this code here. We don't want that. We want to see this interface here. So you can see this is the actual page with all the components. Okay. So you can see when I roll my mouse down here, all these this little edit bar pops up. Now you can move this around right here, the first thing. You can edit the text. You can clone it or you can delete it. So unless you really want to know what you're doing about building the site, the only thing you should actually click on is edit the text block. So let's go down to a block of actual text here. So here you can see there's a block of text here. I'm going to click on the pencil, the edit button. And here you can see it's just like a WordPress post. Now here you have visual up here, the tabs and text. Now if you're pasting in something from somewhere, make sure you're in text. The reason why is if you paste it in visual, it'll come in with all the, the formatting and the code, which you don't want. You want it just in the text mode. Um, you can edit individually in anything. If I want to change building to something else, I would just highlight it, type it in, change it, highlight the whole thing and change it, or I could just go like this and add to the text. Don't forget, after you finish, just hit Save Changes. And that's it. And then the last thing you've got to remember to do is up in the top corner here is update. Always click update. And then, of course, go check the site and make sure uh, your changes have been made. Um, if you're using the WordFence uh, um, performance setup, go to WordFence performance after making all your changes. And you can see I've got a cache of uh, the Falcon engine running here. Just hit clear the cache, and it's going to make sure your changes are made and uh, everything is refreshed. That's a good thing to do. Make sure you do that when you make changes. So let's just go back to the pages if you like. Um, see if I can change something else. Uh, so maybe we'll change an image. Um, look for an image here. There's an image up here. Here we have a logo. All you have to do is go to upload. I can get something from my media library or I can go to my file so I can select the file on my computer. I'm not going to upload this because this is the actual logo. If you want to get out of here, you just hit close. But again, all I did, everything's got an edit area. I just clicked on the edit and here's where I can change the actual image. Okay. So I think that's about it. Um, that's pretty well how you edit everything in Jupyter. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.